Hello everyone! Today we're gonna learn how to divide a circle into nine equal parts. Let's start with our beautiful circle. Here I'm using a five centimeters radius, but you can use any radius you like. Next thing, I'm drawing the horizontal line. As always, you can eyeball it, you can measure the distance, whatever works for you. Just make sure that your horizontal line is passing through the center of the circle. Next, I'm grabbing my compass back again, and this time I'm opening to two thirds of the diameter and making four marks like this. I need the intersection of these four marks, aligning my ruler to them and drawing my vertical line. Again, make sure it passes through the center of the circle. Now let's grab our compass back again and let's make it, move it to the initial radius. Here I'm double checking my radius again. You really want to make sure you're matching the initial radius. So go back on this intersection and make two marks on the circumference. And we're going to do the same as well at the bottom. This uh, radius is a uh, one sixth of my circumference, which is crucial for my ninefold division. Now I'm drawing two triangles by connecting these points. Make sure to double check each intersection before drawing uh, your line. You really want to be accurate. A ninefold division, it's not easy. So you really want to be accurate when you're drawing your lines. As you can see here, I am redoing this bottom line just so that I'm sure it's passing through the correct intersections. Now that I have my two uh, triangles, uh, grabbing my compass back again, this time I'm opening, using this opening to draw a circle. Actually, you don't need the whole circle, you can just use um, a semicircle, as I'm doing here. This is because I need the intersections between these two a uh, circle and semicircle, these two intersection to draw a line. And this line intersects the tip of the triangle. So I'm gonna connect these two points with a line and extend the line to the circle. Because that's the point that I need. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using a dashed line. I don't need the whole line, so definitely go for the dashed line if it's not something necessary. Again, another mark on my circumference. And ladies and gentlemen, these two intersections mark the one ninth of the circumference. So now I'm opening my compass to match this opening, checking if it matches with this intersection and this one again. And now I'm making my marks on the circumference to find the other divisions of the circle. If your opening is not accurate, don't worry, go back to your calculation, make sure it matches. And now it's time to draw the nine uh, lines. I'm doing them bold here so you can see them clearly and you don't get confused with the construction underneath. And now I have my ninefold vision here. I hope you like this content. Make sure to follow for more content like this. Bye.